Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Windows has a setting and a feature called Fast Startup. Now, Fast Startup is part of the legacy control panel options and is enabled by default in the Windows operating system. Now, Fast Startup does exactly what it says. It's a feature that speeds up the startup process of your Windows PC, and um, it is enabled by default. So if you have um, been experiencing any and noticed any boot problems while shutting down and starting your PC, then turning off fast startup could, not in all cases, but could resolve issues regarding um, booting up your operating system um, that maybe you just can't resolve and fix. Now, just to give you a little bit of a brief background on fast startup before we head to the actual setting. Now, in case you didn't know, it's been available in previous versions of Windows, not just Windows 10 and Windows 11, and it's very similar to Hibernate. Now, in case you are unaware, Hibernate is another option in Windows um, that basically takes the current session you are busy with um, in your, on your PC that's loaded into the memory of your device and it saves um, that to the hard drive so it allows you to pick up basically um, a lot quicker where you left off. Now Fast Startup works in a very similar way and fashion to Hibernate but the only difference is Fast Startup um, only works when you shut down your PC. And when you shut down your PC, what Windows does, it signs you off of any account you're busy with. And then um, it saves the content um, of that of the memory, which could be the services and apps and applications you were using, um, onto the hard drive. So the next time you start up your system, um, the startup process is a lot quicker, as mentioned. Now, um, to get to the setting, we have to head to the legacy control panel. And um, the simplest way to do that and to get to the control panel, in case you were unaware, um, on both Windows 10 and 11, you can just do a search for Control Panel. And um, I've just pinned my Control Panel to my Start menu. Now, if you have your Icons View Bar category, then you head to Hardware and Sound, click on Power Options. And if you're like me and just have your View Bar large icons or small icons, just click on Power Options. And on the Power Options page, head to the top left here and click on this option. Choose what the Power button does. Now you'll see a couple of settings here that are grayed out. Now to get those to function, we need to click on this setting, Change Settings that are currently unavailable. And yeah, you can see now those um, settings are operational and functioning. Now, um, as mentioned, this is Fast Startup. Turn on Fast Startup, recommended, so it is enabled by default. This helps start your PC faster after shutdown. Restart isn't affected. So just take note of that. Fast startup will not work when you restart your PC. It will only work when you shut down your PC. Now, um, if you have experienced any issues, just to give you a, on, on boot as an example, just to give you a very simple example why that might be happening. Um, if you are, say, um, running a device that has limited storage, as mentioned, um, fast startup needs to take the content of your memory and save that to your hard drive which can you know be quite um, large so um if you have a limited amount of space you could run out of um, storage space and ie um, as an example um that could be a reason why you are experiencing a uh, boot issues and that's just a very simple example but nonetheless if you have noticed any boot problems that you just cannot fix what i suggest at first is to turn off a uh, fast startup save those changes re-enable it save those changes shut down your device, start your device again, and then see if that fixes any boot problems. Now, if that doesn't, um, what I would suggest then is to disable fast startup altogether and completely. But just take note though, um, if you disable fast startup, it will cause slower boot times, but um, it can prevent issues. So there's a bit of give and take with this one. And how we do that is once again, you just toggle that off, save those changes, and um, then shut down your PC, and restart and see if that solves any problems. And if you want to put everything back to how it was, set it all back to default, it's very similar. Um, you just head back to choose what the uh, power button does and you go back to change settings that are currently unavailable and turn on fast startup and that should put, put everything back to how it was previously and save those changes. And um, just take note, if you are not seen fast startup then um, your hardware maybe not has does doesn't have support for that particular um, feature and that is possible maybe on older devices so if you're not seeing it then you don't have hardware support for fast startup so that's how you can um, enable and or disable fast startup on windows 10 and windows 11 so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one